Welcome back. Finishing off with the iPhone 11 Pro repair, we are going to refresh and replace the battery. But before we begin, most of our viewers are not yet subscribed, so let me give you a few seconds and click that subscribe button. You are helping my channel a lot. Thank you very much. So for the battery replacement, you will see that this 11 Pro has a service status already. And when you click on it, it's 79% and there's an important battery message. Things that we need for this repair is a third-party battery or a different battery. The battery cell here, the i2C tag on flex for the 11 Pro, 11 Pro Max, and of course the i2C i6S programmer. You might notice that I'm using three different programmers on the 11 Pro repair. It depends on the repair that I'm going to do based on my experience and also the success that I get from those programmers specific to those repairs. So let's turn off the phone. Let's disconnect the two connectors for the battery. And also the connectors for the display. You might notice I didn't have the cowlings for the display because we did a previous repair and I'm just continuing on this third video. Next is we need to lift this one by taking out these two tri-wing screws. This is the connector for your charging port. And we take out the cowling that holds the charging port. Once we're done, we take out these two connectors. Then we grab an adhesive to put this one here so that we could remove the battery. That way we have access to the pull tabs of the battery. But I'm just going to remove the pull tabs on the top portion and the rest I'm just going to pull out the battery using an isopropyl alcohol. So once we remove the battery, let's just clean the remaining adhesives on the case and also remove the remaining adhesives on the battery. The trick to replacing the battery, especially if they have the service prompt, is to reprogram the tag on first before transferring the BMS board. Take out the 11 Pro, 11 Pro Max tag on flex, connect them at the bottom connector of the BMS board. Make sure that it is securely connected. Then let's go to the I2C programmer. Then we go first to battery and then WR. I'm going to do a different way. Let me try without using a desktop software. Let me connect a power source here and connect the tag on with the original battery on the daughter board. It says here it's 82% and 695. Let's try changing it up. And we are just going to modify the help. And I'm going to change it to 105 or anything that's higher than 100. And let's see if the programmer will save the setting. We were able to write it. Then let's take out the connector. So let's connect a different battery so we could refresh the battery health for now. Going to remove the adhesive tape and put back the charging cable connectors. And let's put back the screen. And finally connect the battery connector. And then we power on the device. Then let's go to settings and wait for the important battery message to appear. Once we see the important battery message, even if you go on to the battery, it will say an unknown part and it will not show the battery health. Let's turn off the phone and then disconnect this third party battery. Then we disconnect for the meantime the charging cable connector. We remove the other battery and let's put in the original battery with the program tag on flex and see if it will change the battery health without the service notification. Then we connect the charging cable connectors, put back the display and then finally connect the battery connector. Let us turn on the phone and we wait for the important battery message to disappear. You might notice it doesn't show it anymore and when we go on to battery, battery health, it will show you 100%. There's no more important battery message and also the service prompt to disappear. So I do this one by doing the health percentage first before I change the battery cycle. There are times that if I'm going to do them all at the same time, it won't process it correctly and it will still show a service here and also an important battery message. So now let's do the second one which is resetting the cycles. So let's turn this one off and then let's remove again the original battery with the program tag on flex. Let's go to back WR and then let's plug this one again. Let's read just to refresh. You will see the program that we had for 105 and 6 95 for the cycle count let's change that one by clicking on ok and then we go on modify cycle here by pressing the left button and then we change this one to one and once we are on one we do write again and let's wait for it to write fully questions would be why didn't i use the other function of just instantly just pressing 100 or just doing the reset cycle why did i do it manually from what i experienced if i do this one on a service battery it won't refresh and it will still show up the service prompt and the important battery message and the programming of the bms board is done now we're going to proceed with replacing the actual battery with a new cell using an isopropyl alcohol i'm going to use it on the back part of the bms board to loosen up the adhesive holding the two sides of the bms i slowly poke in using a ceramic tweezer and gently lift it up. 
be careful there are still adhesives on the sides of the two BMS boards if you're going to take out the adhesives just be mindful of the connections here once we have taken out the cover at the back we could pull this one out slowly and it exposes the BMS board and then I could gently lift the adhesives and take it out using a ceramic scissor I'm going to cut the two connectors then we trim the edges of the connector then I'm going to grab the new battery cell and also my spot welder. For precaution, I use a double-sided captain tape, but this is optional. Then I put the BMS board on top of the battery. Then I cut the first connector and fold it. I set my Canly spot welder to power two, and then I weld the first connector. Then I cut the second connector, then fold and weld it. Then we unflap the captain tape until it covers the back portion. Make sure that there is no exposed connectors at the back of the battery and trim the excess captain tape. Then let's grab a black miler cover for additional protection and make sure it covers up to the back portion. Then we grab another miler that has a longer edge to cover up the entire BMS board. Unflap the longer edge until to the back portion. Then finally, unflap the last part of the miler tape and make sure it covers everything on the BMS board. Then let's put it back to the phone to test. Then let's turn on the phone. Then let's check. It didn't show any important battery message and we have successfully programmed it 200%. For you to double check this one, you could also use 3U tools to check the cycle count and also the battery health if you have any suggestions comments kindly write them down below again thank you very much and have a good day